Every person in Canada liked freedom a lot, but the Prime Minister who ran the country did not. This may look like a real video of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, but it's not. Deepfakes are AI-generated videos, audios, or images in which the person does or says something they never really said or did. In recent years, the deep learning technology behind deepfakes has rapidly improved. Because the technology is improving so fast that very likely we, we won't be able to uh, detect any more uh, from fake and uh, real voices. The subjects of deepfakes tend to be celebrities, such as this ad with Elon Musk, or political figures. Deepfake images of former United States President Donald Trump being arrested recently circulated the internet. Deepfakes enable disinformation to be spread with ease. In a deepfake of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Joe Rogan's podcast, Trudeau encourages conspiracy theories. It raises questions of how deepfakes of political figures saying controversial opinions could encourage extreme ideologies. So that, that has a potential to destabilize, um, you know, countries or, or to have people believing crazy things to actually confirm uh, their craziness and result in, in things like another you know, trucker protest or, or anti-governmental forces. A deep fake of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky saying soldiers should surrender to Russia spread on social media. While the video was debunked quickly, there is concern that videos of this nature will become more common. It has the potential to change elections. It has the potential to, if you really want to get, you know, into start wars. For now, it is important to be critical of what we see, hear, or read online. For City News, I'm Esme Bale.